Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. This is Pastor Jason Estes from Lakewood, Washington, and I want to speak to you for a few moments about building a united front in prayer, a united front that will push back the darkness that covers the Pacific Northwest. Now more than ever do we, the church of the living God, need to come together and engage in spiritual warfare to pull down strongholds that hinder revival and growth in the Pacific Northwest. I want to remind us that the early church was founded in prayer. They existed in one mind and one accord in prayer. And it was this united front of prayer that preceded the mighty rushing wind that we read about in Acts chapter 2. It was this united front in prayer that preceded the tongues of fire and the works of the Holy Ghost. It was this united front in prayer that preceded the revival and the growth that the early church experienced. We, the church of the living God, need to unite together in prayer in this hour. The Pacific Northwest is depending upon us, the church, to come together in prayer and bridge the gap, push back the darkness, and unleash the power of the Holy Ghost on this region to see the lost and dying be born again of water and spirit. It begins with us, the church, coming together in prayer and preparing the way. I want to make a special appeal to pastors and leaders who identify as one God, Jesus' name, Pentecostal believers. Once a month on a Saturday at 7 a.m., several congregations in the Puget Sound region are gathering together to build this united front in prayer, to push back the darkness that hinders kingdom advancement in the Pacific Northwest. We want to extend this invitation to you, leaders of like precious faith, for you and your congregations to join us in prayer. There is strength in numbers and there is strength in unity. We need to create the unity of the spirit that Paul speaks about in the book of Ephesians. Let's transcend the isolation of our individual congregations for the advancement of God's kingdom in the Pacific Northwest. May God bless you richly today in Jesus' name.